Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family, and today I'm getting ready to start dinner. I got off work a little bit early. I had a couple of errands to run. So I'm at home now and I'm gonna start dinner. I wanna show you my Dolly shirt. I got this last month when we went to the mountains. Don't you just love Dolly? I do, and um, I just love this shirt. It's so comfortable. But today we're going to make a pork bait. You may see it in the grocery store as a shoulder roast. So I'm gonna get this in my Instapot and let it cook in there because I don't have all day to let it cook. I like to cook it a long time if I'm doing it on the stove or the oven. Normally I do it in the oven or the Instapot. This is a nice size roast. I'm gonna put it down in there. Let me tell you my little secret on my uh, tongs. I got red and I've got blue. I use the red one for raw meat, and when I'm ready to start doing with my meat or whatever I'm using and get done, I change over to the blue. So the red always lets me know it's raw. Just a little hint for you, a little tip that I developed myself. So I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on my, on my roast. It's a big, good size piece of meat, y'all, so I'm not using as much salt as some people think I do. But you want it salted, you want to season that roast, that meat all the way through. Now, I don't know if you've seen this, it's made here in Alabama, and it's Andalusia, Alabama, actually. It's called Dixie Dirt. My son ordered us some, and I've been using it. I like it. And it has brown sugar, salt, spices, onion, garlic, paprika, and I'm gonna give it a good shake in here on my roast. I'm gonna hold it up and show it to you in just a minute after I get everything in. But again, we're seasoning a lot of meat. You want it to go all the way through. That's not a tablespoon. So I've got an onion, a piece of an onion. I cut a little bit off I needed for something else. I'm gonna cut that in half. Work that down in there. Let it, have you seen the Mississippi pot roast? You know, in that they used the ranch seasoning and the um, the peppers. Well, this is not a Mississippi pot roast and I'm not doing peppers, uh, I mean ranch, but I'm gonna put some of these peppers down in here. I think it'll give it a good taste. Oh, why not? Let's put some of that juice too. What do you think? It's gonna cook in with that meat. That's uh, well, about seven peppers. Let's put one more. It don't hurt to put extra of that juice, does it? Now, I've got a little chicken broth left over, stock box, box stock, I should say. And I'll put it out in there. This meat's gonna let out some juice. It stamps, I don't want it swimming in juice when I get done cooking it because I'm gonna take and tear it apart and I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on it. So, let me hold this pot up. So what I've got down in there, didn't that look pretty? Hope it, oh, it's not bothering you. And um, I'm gonna get this going in my Instapot. This is the best thing. I can get a lot of things cooked quickly when I come in from work. Set it to seal. I'm gonna put it on meat. I'm gonna raise the temperature, I mean the time up to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do an hour, I think. And um, it'll start itself. So when that's ready, I'll check it. If I need to add some more time, I will. Okay, that's done, one portion. Now, I've got to go with that, it's green, Dried tiny green lima beans. I get these in the grocery store. They're in a bag, dried beans. We like them. They're delicious. I've washed them, I've looked them. So I'm gonna put these in my pot. Ooh. Get these going, and they don't take long to cook. Not like dried butter beans or dried lima beans. It don't take long. A little bit of salt. Well, not much because we're gonna come back. I'm gonna use salted butter, but we can always come back. 
I've heard people say you don't salt dried beans. As you're cooking them, it'll make them tough. I always have, I've never had a tough thing. You want to get that flavoring in. If you wait to the end, you're not gonna get that bean seasoned. And I got about half a stick of butter I'm gonna put in there. Put the rest of this stock that I didn't use. And just cover the rest of it up with some water. I'm sorry, give me a second, I'll walk away from you again. I'm here. Cause see, I'm, they'll swell up, but I put enough water on them to come up to like this first knuckle. So we're gonna get this on our stove. Now that's a very, very hot eye. I'll have to watch it cause it'll come up to boil pretty quickly. See, we've been going, what, six minutes. I've got my roast and my beans um, to cook. Next, I'm not ready to cook them yet. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll come back in a little bit and show you how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna make some fried green tomatoes. I've got some of the prettiest green tomatoes that I need to cook. So, um, we don't want them to go to waste. Have you ever fried a red tomato? Absolutely delicious. So we'll do that one day. I'll get some decent red tomatoes and we'll give them, we'll fry them up and let you see them. And uh, so right now, oh, I've got a special request for y'all. If you will, please. I had a dear YouTuber, I'm sorry, subscriber today messaged me and she's going for a procedure to see if she has cancer in her kidneys. And it's just heartbreaking to me. I've prayed very hard for her and I hope you will too. So let's keep her in our prayers at night. Her name is Cindy and that's all I'm gonna say. And if you will, let's, let's pray real hard for her that everything works out beautiful for her and she comes out healthy as she can be. I, I would certainly appreciate it. Let's get that going out because we know prayers mean everything. They helped us through our little sickness. It's nothing like hers, but let's let's keep her in our thoughts, okay? So I'm gonna go right now, and I'm gonna come back in a little bit when I'm gonna let this get to cooking, let my beans cook a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I fry these green tomatoes up, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. We're back, and I took this pork roast out of the Instapot, and I want you to look how yummy and delicious. See those juices on that pan? Oh wow, it is suggesting. We're gonna keep those juices. I picked up the bone, and looky there, it just fell right out and it is clean as it can be. So we're gonna get this cut up and I saved all of the peppers and onions that I put in there. We're gonna put it in the oven with this roast. That's a lot of goodness to, to throw away, so we're not gonna throw it away. Oh, it's so tender. See how easy I'm cutting through that? I'm just gonna do little slices and I don't want little fine shreds. We just want slices that we can put on our plate. I'm gonna hold this up and show you and let you see how beautiful this is on the inside. This is cooked perfect. I put it on the meat setting and I did it for an hour let it depressurize on its own and this came out perfect and beautiful that little fat piece right there i'm going to take it off if you want to leave it on that's fine it's just flavor see what the inside of that looks like that is perfect absolutely perfect now I've got my oven set to 400 and it's preheating. So we're gonna slip this in. Just gonna let it cook long enough to set that barbecue sauce on it. This is just a store bought, use your favorite sauce. If you want homemade, that's perfect. This is Sweet Baby Ray's. We like it. But as much or as little as you want, your favorite sauce. 
Now, we're gonna get that cooked on there. I like to get my barbecue sauce cooked on a little charred. How about you? What do you like? So let's slip this in there. And those onions and peppers, they're gonna continue to cook a little bit more in it too. Okay, so I wanna wipe my counter where I had that sauce, my cutting board, I'm sorry, where I had that sauce, because we're fixing to, we're fixing to, we're going to start our fried green tomatoes. Get my oil going, get it hot. And I've got my knife. I'm sorry, I thought I was ready, guys. Let's see, let me get another knife so it doesn't have sauce on it. Now I'm ready. We've got these beautiful tomatoes I showed you earlier. I'm gonna core them, take that center out. I'm not gonna slice them. Normally I would slice, I'm gonna cut them in big chunks and fry them. And I think that's gonna be the way we do it today. I need a bowl to put them in. I'm sorry, I keep walking away from you, but I'll get it. I'm back. Yo, we know this is real cooking, right? So we're just gonna cut it in big chunks. See, I'm cutting down. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't think you can. And I'm gonna cut it in big chunks like that. And then we're just gonna put cornmeal on it. And um, do you use cornmeal or flour? I've seen some people use flour. They like the flour. We like cornmeal. That's what I've always done. But if you like flour, you use it. Doesn't take long to fry tomatoes. One of my daughter-in-laws loves fried green tomatoes. She won't need a red tomato to save her soul, but she loves fried green tomatoes. So when they plant them in their garden, my son has to protect them or she'll have every one of them picked and fried green. He said, Mama can't keep her out of them. We'll leave those a little bigger and see how they work better. What do you think? All right, so we got that done. Say that didn't take but a minute to cut those up. Let's put a little salt on them. Tomatoes love salt. Salt will also draw out the moisture from that tomato. One turned a little pink in the center, but that's okay. He's gonna be good. I'm gonna put some cornmeal on him. This is White Lily buttermilk cornmeal mix. Yes, it does have uh, some flour in it. I know that, but we're not adding more flour. This looks like it's got a lot of flour in the mix though. Look at here. You know, see? I quick that cut up and mixed up. So quick. Look there. We got our oil heating up. I don't think it's ready yet. Let's try one in there. He's almost there. Not quite. We've got our um, green lima beans I showed you. They're back here in the pot and I'm gonna let you hold them up for them. He just come in, so I'm gonna let him hold this big heavy pot up and show them what this looks like. <clears throat> it's hot. It's heavy too. Well, can't keep them on this thing to show them. <laughs> <laughs> See how pretty they are? Oh my goodness. That's gonna be some good eating there tonight. I didn't show those too good, but that's all right. We got the gist. Off spoon. We got the gist yeah. of it, right? It's like your grease is I think it's ready now, up. isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
See how it's sizzling? I think you can see down in that pan to see that sizzling. So we're just gonna kinda, with my slotted spoon, spatula, shake that excess off and drop them down in there. Now remember, a little at a time because it'll cool you oil down and you don't want that oil to get too cool because then your vegetables will just soak up all that extra grease and they won't be good. You don't want them greasy. We just want them delicious. Can you hear it? Can you hear that sound? Mmm. My tummy's saying, yes, I hear it. I'm ready for it. I've been wanting some green tomatoes and I just haven't cooked any. Other than I put them in my okra. Y'all seen me put it in my fried okra. But we're doing just green tomatoes tonight. Now, can you see down in that pan how they're cooking? Oh my word. We'll get us a platter to put them on. We're going to use one of these pretty ones right here. And as um, soon as they come out, we'll platter them up. Our roast should be ready to come out in a minute and our beans are gonna be done. So I'm gonna get these cooking and I'm gonna come back in a minute and show you what they look like, okay? Uh, stay with me, I'll be back in a minute. I'm back and I'm ready to take these tomatoes out of this pan. Can you see all that golden deliciousness in there? Oh, you could just smell it. And our pork roast is ready to come out. I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to take that out and show it to you. And then we're going to move over to the island and fix our stuff. Wait. I off. So let's take this up. I'm using my slotty spoon so we can let that oil drain. Look at that. Can you see how pretty that is? I'm going to hold it up for you. I want you to see every bit of this. Who out there likes green, fried green tomatoes? And who does it? I'm interested in knowing, like I said, I've got a daughter-in-law that loves fried green tomatoes, but she will not eat a red tomato. She won't eat them in soups or stews or sliced or a sandwich. I love a good tomato sandwich. Get some that good old mayonnaise on it and some salt and pepper. Mm. What more can we ask for? Look at you there, how pretty. Now let me get that pork roast out. Set this down. Ooh, wee, that's hot. And that pan's hot. I'm gonna have to move it back. We don't want to take a chance of coming in, coming through and bumping it and spilling it on us. Oh. Mm, yeah, look. Look how pretty. Oh, you see all that bubbling sauce, and it's cooked on there, and it's sticky, and oh my goodness. Let me set that down. All right, I'm going to get you set up and moved over to the island so we can make a plate. So give me just a minute, and I'll be right back with you, okay? Hold on. We're ready to make a plate and eat this delicious supper. This man of mine just come in. I'm sure you're hungry from working hard all day. Oh yeah. So. It was, it was too hot to eat lunch. It is hot. So. Uh, Y'all in the shade, our temperature gauge says 90 degrees and it's in the shade up under the porch. So I know it's even hotter than that. So. We're going to make our plates and eat. So, while he's doing that, I'm going to pour us a big old glass of sweet tea. Oh boy, I'm ready for some. Going to have some lemon with it. You must do it sweet baby raise on this. I did. That's the wow factor. <laughs> of course, she puts wow factor on everything. I put now, there's some um, like the Greek peppers here uh -huh. and some onions. I just set them to the side. I cooked it in with the roast. Okay. So it gave it a different oh, flavor. Mmm. Now it's just delicious. 
What do we have here? Baby okay, llamas? So the green baby llamas that we like. That's his favorite. That, and he loves black eyed peas. And I'll have to show y'all sometime how I cook black eyed peas for him. Soupy. <laughs> he likes That's dried like black eyed peas, soupy as he says. And, but at, toward the end, I dice up a little onion and put in it. And he likes that. And it's so good. It just, I mean, it doesn't change the flavor that much. It just gives it a little extra something. Fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. We haven't had those in a while, have we? Isn't there a movie we? about that? Uh, yeah, there was. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> and we got some sliced red tomatoes. And, um... It's not even where to put it. I got some, um... I cleaned up some scallions and a banana pepper. Y'all know I like banana pepper, sweet banana pepper. And, um... Wow, what a meal. I didn't make dessert. Who needs dessert? There's Show them that beautiful plate that you just made. Who needs dessert? Oops, didn't mean to step That's on okay. It. Look at there. I oh, see this plate. It's steaming. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're ready to dig into this, and I'm so glad y'all enjoyed. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'm so glad you joined me tonight. So, we're going to carry on and fix mm. Our pl uh, another plate, so we'll have it and um, enjoy this delicious meal. And I'll talk with you soon. Bye. Bye.